a potential alternative for children, meantime, who need surgery to have ear tubes. Let's find out what it is and how it works with health reporter Stephanie Stahl. Lots of families mm -hmm. are going to be interested in this. You know, about a million children need ear tube surgery each year because of frequent ear infections. Well, now there's a new option, an FDA-cleared device called the Hummingbird that's making the procedure faster and easier. Like many toddlers, Bryson likes the playground, but he had a history of ear infections. Before he turned one, he had his first ear infection, and we didn't really think much of it because he got over it really quickly. And then we started daycare in February of this year, and that is when they were just nonstop. For children who have chronic ear infections, ear tubes can stop the cycle. They're typically inserted surgically with the child having general anesthesia. But now there's a new non-surgical option. I was able to be right next to him, which was the best part because because going into the operating room, parents don't get to go back there. The new option for ear tubes happens with a device called the Hummingbird. It allows us to make the hole in the eardrum and to place the tube all at one time. Doctors say it's almost like a piercing gun. Using a localized anesthetic in the eardrum, the Hummingbird device allows doctors to quickly place the tubes in minutes. And because it's very quick and the device makes it very safe to do in young children, uh, we can do it in the office uh, with minimal discomfort. The entire procedure lasted maybe three to four minutes. And as soon as he was unwrapped and in my arms, he was fine. Run, 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 run. Since Bryson got his ear tubes earlier this summer, his mom says it he's died. been infection free. It was a great experience. And back to loving life on the playground. Now, most insurance will cover the office visit, but not all kids are candidates for the hummingbird.